What's up guys, today I'm back with another video, and today it's going to be a uh, Mario Kart DS mod. Um, it's called CTGP DS because it's a mod of Mario Kart DS, and it's pretty much just a bunch of custom tracks. So, um, let me get situated here. So, yeah, I'll just be doing some time trials. This is going to be a preview. It's not going to be, like, the full tour. So, yeah, um, to start, we have a uh, blue Yoshi. I put him as one of the characters. And then, currently, I don't have custom course names, but all of these... All 32 tracks are filled up with custom ones, so yeah, I'll, I'll just show you a preview. So yeah, um... This ROM hack is just a bunch of custom tracks, and I made this mainly for um, a few people who I know because they're always complaining about how Mario Kart Zero isn't custom tracks, it's just a bunch of texture hacks, and I know a lot of people are looking for like an actual like good maintained custom track distribution. So yeah, that was my goal of this, is to make, like, a custom track distribution that's going to be well maintained. So, um, it doesn't support anything that, like, other ones won't support. And it will not work online because it's, it, it's not compatible with any other Mario Kart DS, so this will not work online. It won't work in download play, either. But, I've never tested it in download play, so I don't know. So this is version 0 0.9. And in version 1.0, I'm hoping to get a custom title screen, and custom course names. Because, I mean, the ROM hack is already pretty much done. It's just getting like the menus and making it look nice and stuff. That's what I need to work on. So, um, I don't take credit for any of these custom tracks. They're all made from like dshack.org members and other people. And as you can see, I suck because I'm used to Mario Kart 7, and I haven't actually played a lot of Mario Kart lately. I've been doing GTA 5 and stuff. I just need to get the camera quality. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna do several different courses just so we can just so that we don't focus on a single course. Uh, yeah, that's a shortcut in this, this track. Actually, I don't know if that's a shortcut or just, like, something to prevent you from hitting the wall so you don't have to, like, screw yourself over. Okay, so, um... I just, I have custom tracks in every slot, so... 
I put a rainbow gold in the last slot of this cup just for fun because there's there's a few rainbow golds in the game. This is Sneez SNES Rainbow Road, if you can tell. Okay, so, um, yeah, I don't have all, like, because your Mario Kart DS save files will not work with CTGPDS, so, um, you can't, so I don't have everything unlocked, so I can't show you all of the courses. Um, some other time, I'll make a, like, complete playthrough of it. And I will also make proper credits so that the CT designers won't think that they're getting ripped off or something. Because, yeah, I'm not trying to take credit for anyone's custom tracks. These all go to the original authors and that's how it's always going to be. And yeah, the respawn points in this course aren't the best, but, you know, there's, there, nothing's perfect when it's a user-made track, made by someone who doesn't even work for Nintendo. Yeah, I suck. Don't judge me. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, so, um, yeah. This is just a preview. I'm not here to show you, I'm not here to show you everything in the, in the game. Because, obviously I can't fit everything into the game in like a few minutes, so. I'm gonna make a big longer video some other time. But yeah, I think before I end this, I'll go over a few requirements to run this. You're going to need a DS flash cart, um, a DS Lite, uh, Nintendo DS, um, 3DS, anything that can run a ROM. So you're gonna need a flash cart or an emulator. Like, you can all you can always use like Desmume, Ideas, something. You can always use one of those to run these. So, yeah, if you have any questions about if you can run this or not, then comment. I'll always help you. Because if you're running on a 3DS, like, uh, I don't know, you can see I got the joystick here. Um... I'm running this on a 3DS version 9.2, and Gateway was blocked at like 4.5 or something. So, you so there's a CIA that you can install on the 3DS that will unblock blocked DS flash codes. I'll link it in the description. But then again, to use that, you're gonna need you're gonna need either a Gateway, 
or the custom firmware. And yeah, these custom tracks look a lot better in real life than they do on video. Because the video is a little brighter than it should be. And that's not really something I can control, so... So, um, I think I covered pretty much everything that I should cover in this game. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm gonna make a big like walk through not really a walk through but more like just a playthrough of it um yeah it's currently version 0.9 there will be a release link in the description anyone can download it play it so yeah um thanks for watching i hope you guys like this video um i hope you guys like the hack um so, see you guys later. Um, I'll be making new videos more often now, now that school's out and stuff, so yeah, um, bye.